okay hello friends this is yusuf here welcome to the second part of our post request creation in rpg jelly video so the last video we have left at this point uh, which means uh, we are able to create a post uh, service which is calling our rpg jelly program and which is also returning the data right uh, but now what we are going to do uh, basically okay this is our state okay uh, we are getting the data but in terms of uh, this body if i give application json and give something name yes okay if you send okay you are getting not actually a correct data so what is happening is there is a conversion between ascii and ebcdac format okay oh, i forgot what is e okay anyway so now what we need to do uh, if the content type is application slash json then we need to convert our data uh, or translate our data into ascii okay so our, from ascii to ebdc okay i exactly forgot what, what it is but let me show the code so what we need to do we need to add few more lines of code to achieve that now what we are going to do we are going to utilize one uh, program which is actually a system program uh, called qdc xlate okay this particular program is used for translating the ccids okay if you copy this one and put into your uh, or object okay you will see it's actually a program in qsys library okay uh, let's quickly do this one okay i am going to continue the ws2 code and uh, i will come down let me copy this procedure okay i am naming this procedure as translate it accepts three parameters the first parameter is actually the you know the data on uh, sorry the length of the data okay the second parameter is, is actually the data and uh, after converting the data will be available on the same second parameter okay and third parameter is actually a table uh, which will tell you, you you need to convert from which format to that format like that okay so for our use case we need to use qtcp ebc okay okay good uh, let me copy the procedure first and uh, let me put that i can put i can put here okay copy this one let's give some space okay now we have this translate procedure and uh, i will take one variable uh, for me to hold that you know data so let me put it here okay so now what we are going to do only if it is a post request and if the content type is application slash json then we need to convert okay so first let's see what is happening uh, without taking that so here we are and if it is a post request we are taking the content type and then uh, getting the you know uh, actual system data and the data is available in rtn buffer right so what i'm going to do inside uh, i'm just going to call or okay i'm going to first get the data into a, into our variable okay now the payload is there in our ebc data variable then i'm going to call the uh, translate procedure using this ebc data variable okay after that the converted data will be also available in ebc data okay now i want to see that in the browser or the output right so here uh, i'm going to have another uh, right to web thing instead of i'll say here uh, converted data and instead of having return buffer i'll say ebc data okay that variable and uh, i will write that also in the thing okay let me put one crlf so that it will come in next line mm, right to web here also i can put one crlf just for alignment okay fine let's compile this one okay it compiled now i'm going to the browser you can see the converted data came but no thing nothing because we are reading only in the post request so i'm going to the post request and here you can see i am in the ws2 calling the via post and giving the data as application slash json the same payload so give send what you see here is the converted data is having the proper details okay so the actual data is something like this but after converting we are getting the data but now the point is assume if i change it to plain text okay and if i send so what is happening 
the actual data is correct but the converted data is wrong okay so here what you need to understand is you need to use this translate method only for content type application slash json so now how to handle that you uh, by this time you already know right we are able to get the content type also in the program which is in this case text slash uh, plane uh, in the previous oh, sorry in the previous case uh, it is actually come on come on okay it's taking too much time okay in the previous case it's application slash json okay uh you get this value so by looking into this you can code uh if you want to quickly do it i'll come down i'll come down okay here we are getting the content type oh sorry sorry that's our content type okay here okay go up so in the post what i will do if content type this is our variable is equal to application slash json okay only then i will do the translation okay now this is cool if you do file okay done now if you execute the same thing again which is correct because it's application such json let's change it to plain text send now you see the data is available here and we never converted so it's blank so if we change it to application slash json then the actual data is junk and converted data, data is uh, our uh, actual data yeah so that's is this is the crux of my objective so by this time you know how to create a post service in rpgle and uh, even if you are if you want to handle uh, you no know, application slash json payload you know how to do it but if you ask me is this the only way to do or create post request in ibm as 400 no okay suppose you are having you know the modern languages like uh, python or node.js okay which is already available in your uh, server then we can create the same thing very easily with the use of those things but if you don't have it you, you traditionally have only the http server then the point here is you can still do it with these kind of techniques okay so that's the end of this video i hope uh, it helps and uh, you really got some useful uh, amount of information uh, that's it for this video thanks for all your support okay and uh, if you like this video please share it share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next video with a different concept thank you bye